Canberra is the largest inland city in the driest inhabited continent on Earth. Water is our most precious resource. Canberra was chosen as the nation's capital because of water supply. The planners felt there was sufficient water coming down the Cotter catchment uh, to be able to feed and water the population of Canberra for years to come. So when water's good, Canberra's got a good and generous supply. When drought is around and when climate change is having an impact, clearly history tells us our water supply is at risk. Well, the water situation in Canberra and across Australia has been quite serious over the last several years during this drought. We've seen inflows into our catchments and dams significantly reduced and that's caused our dam levels being low. The city's survival, growth and prosperity demanded that the challenge was not ignored. Part of the strategy was to build a new dam or concrete wall, holding the water in the reservoir 125 metres downstream from the original. Increasing the size of the Cotter Reservoir almost 20-fold, the river will continue to serve the city for years to come. Before a major project such as the Cotter Enlargement can commence, many factors must be examined. Technical, environmental, heritage and community. It was crucial to understand uh, any concerns uh, that members of the community had and be able to address them early on in the process. What we talked to the community about was how we can improve the Cotter area as a result of this project. The overwhelming feedback we got was they liked to see something like they once had. Two major initiatives that uh, we are doing here on site is an upgrade to the Casarina Sands recreational area and that is to replace um, the uh, Cotter Reserve or the uh, Cotter Avenue recreational area which will be closed during construction. The second initiative is um, a viewing platform uh, that uh, we will build to uh, enable members of the community to come down and uh, view the actual construction of the dam. Canberra stands where it does because of the Cotter River. And the Cotter has always had special meaning for Canberrans as beauty spot, beach and picnic place. This important European meaning of the Cotter is preserved. So too is the far older significance of the river to Aboriginal people. The history of this area is the local Aboriginals are the Ngunnawal people, traditional owners of Canberra and surrounding areas. It was a gathering place. We camped beside the rivers. As our people moved from place to place, they followed rivers, creek corridors, hills and mountains. This is a physical and spiritual link to our people. As part of the consultation process, ACTU engaged a number of Aboriginal representative organisations. We've done surface collection, which is part of stage one. We've completed that and we've uh, found at least over a thousand artefacts. It's absolutely important that we look after these sites. I mean, this is the past. This is our past history. This is who we are. A community group called Friends of the Cotter has been established. Members receive seasonal newsletters, updating them on the progress of the development. There is also Current, ACTU's bi-monthly newsletter, with updates on the ACT's water situation, water security projects and water conservation initiatives. The construction of the new concrete dam will take place over several distinct stages. Most of the rock required for making the concrete is sourced from two separate locations on site. The first location includes both sides of the valley where the new dam will be built, called the abutment. The abutment must be stripped during the excavation to allow for the new dam foundations. Rock will be removed from the abutment using specialised drilling equipment, which will strategically drill holes below the ground surface. These holes will then be filled with explosives, and when detonated, rock material will be thrown into the valley. 
The rock that is extracted will be progressively collected and transported by truck to a rock crushing plant constructed on site. The second location from which rock will be sourced is via an on-site quarry. A quarry is a pit or excavation made in the land below the natural surface to extract or remove stone or other materials. Rock from the quarry will be extracted using explosives, then transported to the rock crushing plant. At the crushing plant, the rock is crushed into various sizes, trucked to the stockpile area, and delivered by overland conveyor to the concrete batch plant. On the conveyor, the crushed rock is cooled using water jets to make sure it is the correct temperature. If further cooling is required, shaved ice and nitrogen is added to the rock before it is conveyed into the batch plant, where it is combined with cement, water and other chemicals to produce the concrete needed to build the dam. Concrete from the batch plant will then be transported to the dam site via a specially constructed conveyor which extends down into the valley floor. Once it reaches the valley floor, the concrete will be placed in layers in a staggered arrangement that will look like large steps. As the team works upwards, each step is held in place with prefabricated panels until the concrete sets. An intake tower, also made of concrete, will be built slightly ahead of the dam and connected back to it. Once the tower is constructed, Large pipes and valves are installed, enabling water to be extracted through the dam from multiple depths within the Cotter Reservoir, so that the best quality water can be used for our water supply whenever required. An important component of the Cotter Dam enlargement is the works associated with managing the existing dam. The existing dam will be left in place to assist in trapping sediment away from the new dam extraction points and will therefore eventually be underwater as the enlarged dam fills. The new dam, capable of withstanding the force of a 1 in 4 million flood and a 1 in 10,000 earthquake, will be approximately 280 metres wide and 80 metres high and will have used close to 1 million tonnes of concrete to build it. It will be the largest dam of its type in Australia. Much work has also gone into protecting a number of threatened fish species that exist in the Cotter Reservoir. This is only one important aspect of ensuring our community and environment continues to live sustainably. While the Cotter enlargement promises Canberra water security into the future, it is not a reason for a return to the ways of the past. We've had years and years of drought and we realise now that climate change is here to stay. Water, for those reasons alone, is so precious. It is our number one priority for this city-state. It's not the intention that we would forever be on stage three water restrictions, but living under sustainable conditions and using water sensibly is always going to be a key part in our water security strategy.